Oh yeah, before we went to the break, we were talking about the different types of um, sentences and reported um, statements, questions and the others. Now, the plan is, can you help me report these sentences? Here I have statements, uh, I have questions, and also uh, I think I have just one. Oh no, I have two. I have two imperatives. Okay, let's begin by the first one. Uh, I need to share the screen completely. Mm -hmm. Ah, hoy día mando comunicación porque el jueves hay reunión. Y estas tienes los informes de personalidad y de notas van a estar disponibles en notas net. Ya del primer semestre, porque como ustedes saben, el primer semestre se cerró eh, ahora poquito ya. Lo, lo dejamos cerrado para el segundo semestre. Okie dokie. Por si acaso en algún minuto su papá están esperando algún informe en papel. Este año no se va a entregar en papel. Se va a hacer el digital, el de notas net. Así que si que no tienen notas net en el celular o no lo saben o no lo revisan en el computador, sugiero que lo descarguen para tener todo ahí. Ya. Yeah. All right. So we have here statements. Uh, let's begin with the first one. I have the criminal escaped through the back door. Uh -huh. He said. Uh, ¿Cómo reportaríamos esto? Mm, supongamos que sí eh, a un reportero. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, ¿Cómo sigo? Eh, said that the criminal. Criminal, ya. Yeah. That the criminal. Ya, yeah. a ver, tenemos acá, eh, hay un pas simple. Escaped. Past simple tiene que ir backshift. El past simple hace backshift a qué? ¿A qué hace backshift? El past simple. ¿A qué, a qué lo devuelvo? Ah, pero ah. ¿qué significa eso? Ah, muy bien. ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué cosa, querida Yeramex? Backshift. Ya, yeah, backshift. Vamos para allá. En backshift aquí. Acá. El backshift se ocupa para eh, reportear. Y lo que pasa es que, por ejemplo, si tú me dices, profe, eh, ya, yeah, no, supongamos le dijiste a tu papá, eh, a tu mamá. Mamá, me saqué un 7. ¿Ya? Yeah? Y después, supongamos que tu, herman, tu mamá le cuenta a tu papá. Oye, ¿sabes qué? La Jeremy me contó que se había sacado un 7. Se había sacado un 7. Entonces, naturalmente, lo que, ella, lo que tú le dijiste, cuando tu mamá tome tus palabras, va, se va a devolver un tiempo más. Que se había sacado un 7. No, 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 ella no, no le dice el papá. Dice que se sacó un 7. Se había sacado un 7. Entonces, that is reported speech. Tomar las palabras de otra persona. Y automáticamente el tiempo que se está ocupando se debe devolver uno para atrás. Entonces aquí está la correlación. Que la oración que tú dices está en present simple, pasa a past simple. Eh, present continuous, past continuous. Past simple, past perfect. Present perfect, past perfect. Will, pasa would. Must, pasa had to. Can, a could. May, a might. Y could, might, should, eh, se queda igual. Ah, entonces, eh, aquí tenemos escaped. Con ED, es un past simple. Y según acá, el past simple pasa a... Past perfect. Past perfect, ya. Yeah. Entonces tenemos que hacer esa pega, hacer el back shift. Entonces, had escaped. Escaped. Yep. Entonces, esto que toca. Uh, tengo aquí. The reporter, estamos en esta. The reporter said that the criminal had escaped through the back door. Okay, perfecto. 
Ahí está. ¿Notaste el backshift, Jere? Sí, sí, ahora entendí. Okay. Con la tablita uno lo saca al tiro. ¿ya? En realidad, la tablita está para ayudar. Así que yo que tú la ocupo. La ocupo. Ya, yeah. next one. Let's go. Next one says: uh, Vamos a otro statement. I gave him all my money, she confessed. I gave him all my money. Ya, yeah, ¿cómo me parto aquí? I gave him all my money. Uh, she confessed mm -hmm. that I confessed that that she yeah, gave a uh, past simple. She had she had gave PP the give given. Given, yeah, that she had given. Yeah. That she had Him. given. All, no es my money, por ver el de ella. All her money. All her money. To him, o no? Sí, puede ser. Money to Ay. him. Uh -huh. Ahí está. She confessed that she had given all the money to him. Uh -huh. Agree, agree, agree. I like it. She confessed. Ahí tenemos otro verbo, eh? confess. Ya, a ver, eh, otro, aquí, acá hay otro. We'll crack the code, uh, she promised. Vamos a descifrar la, la password. Ya, yeah. eh, ya, yeah. reported. Reported. We'll crack the code, I promise, ya. Yeah. Valeración, teacher. Ah, que está acá. Mm. Aquí no marco. Aquí. Aquí. Yeah. Ah, ya. Yeah. Yeah, we'll crack the code. The code. Ah, we'll crack the code. I promise. Uh, ya. Yeah. Entonces, es she promised yeah. that they would that they y sabemos will, que el will pasa would yes I would sí crack the code yeah ready el de incluso podría cambiarse por that yeah, pero dejémoslo en de the code they promise that they will ah, cambia el, el el we por el would o sea el we por el they porque cambiamos de perspectiva ellos dijeron ellos dijeron, ah, hoy vamos a descifrar el código. Entonces, si yo lo reporto, ellos dijeron que ellos iban a craquear el código. Iban a descifrar el código. That was a change in perspective. Yeah. Then, let me find another statement. Ah, this one. This one, this one here. This one is a statement. You shouldn't drink that much, my doctor said. Mm -hmm. How would, how should we put it? Any idea? Acá el, el shouldn't queda, queda igual, ¿no? Claro, el should eh, queda igual. No eh, tiene backshift. Sería, my doctor said that I shouldn't drink that much. I shouldn't drink that much. My doctor said that I shouldn't drink that much. Ah, sí, yes. Eh, no tiene backshift. O sea, tiene backshift, pero queda igual. ¿no? Eh, son como tres los modales que van a quedar igual. ¿no? Solo por ser modales. Entre ellos es tal shoot. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we have others that we have. Uh, let's go with the imperatives. The imperative. Acá hay uno. Porque son órdenes. Don't move or I'll kill you. Uh, you know, y acá está el otro. Um, hurry up, we're late. This one. Hurry up, we're late. Okay, so uh, let's go with the one on the left. Don't move uh, or I'll kill you. Oh, I'll kill you, the criminal said. 
don't move or I will kill you. Mm, scary. Okay. How should we put it? Uh, the criminal. The criminal. Wait, the criminal. This I told me. Me dijo, me dijo. Más directo, ¿ya? A pesar de que hice set ahí, la idea es que sea. Que, que diga ahí. No creo que lo haya dicho a voz abierta, sino que me lo dijo a mí. Now let's go. My, uh, the criminal told me. Cuando eh, había imperativo negativo, ¿cómo lo poníamos? Don't move. Don't move. An imperative in general is an infinitive. No hay backshift. Pa, 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 pa. Okay, it's easy peasy. It's just like this. Um, <coughs> not to. Told me not to. Okay, ese es el imperativo negativo. Va así. Not to. Uh, yeah. Not to. Yeah, not to. Not to move. Or he. Aquí tenemos un backshift. Está will. Uh, he would. Would. <laughs> he would. Kill me. Kill me. Ahí está. Ya, yeah, entonces tenemos imperative, negative, don't move, or don't eat, or don't use the phone in class. Uh, we should put them in that way. Ya, yeah, um, sabemos que son imperativos porque empiezan con verbo. Ya, yeah, los, los statements empiezan con un sustantivo y todo el orden que usted conoce, pero statement, o sea, el command o el imperative empieza con un verbo inmediatamente. Seco, no tiene... No tiene sujeto, ¿no? como tal. Se asume que es otra persona, de, de más poder quizás, o de otra jerarquía. ¿no? Ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next one we have, hurry up. We're late, my crime partner said. Okay, my crime partner, right. Uh, told me, digamos que me dijo a mí directamente. Tell me what. Hurry up. Mm, falta algo. Mm. Infinitive. Yeah. Told me to hurry up. Mm -hmm. Es el infinitive. El infinitive mm. es el to. Yeah? Entonces, infinitive to hurry up. Now let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah, to hurry up and yeah, because they say we're late. We are late. Seguramente dijo we are late. Eso lo tengo que pasar back. We were late. We were late because we were late. Aquí le agregué otra parte de la oración, totalmente el. el el command a veces va como shut up y nada más. ¿ya? O my, my sister told me to shut up. Eh, yo le agrego un poquito más para que se vea mejor y tenga otro backshift ahí. Pero usualmente el, el imperative en su parte de la oración no, no hay más cosas. Parte del infinito. Ya. Yeah. Let's go to the questions and we are kind of ready with that. Uh, we have questions here. Vamos por a yes or no question que está justo acá arriba. Did you really cry? He asked. Did you really cry? Did you really cry? Uh, he asked me. Yeah. He asked me. Es un yes or no question. If. Yes. If. All right, and the question is in past simple. El backshift, ¿para dónde va entonces? Eh, past perfect. Past perfect, yeah, entonces, ¿cómo lo dejamos? If I, if I had. Yeah. 
if I had cried, I cried. I guess. Mm -hmm. He asked me if I had cried. Uh, but if, porque tiene esa, it's a yes or no question. Remember, it's a yes or no question. Yes or no question. Remember that. And then we have uh, this question. Where are you going? The police asked. This is a WH question. It's different from the other one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. people uh, the police the police asked me yeah oh. the police asked me yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the police asked me what uh, where yeah, where, W's question, where, again, le pregunto, where are, where I, yeah, y la pregunta es, where are you going, entonces tienen que ir, this is present simple, past simple, where, where I was going, where I was going, yes, where I was going, the police asked me where I was going, me preguntaron hacia donde iba, yeah, ahí está, perfect, Perfect. I think the questions are the most um, special because uh, you have two types of questions and sometimes the order is a bit weird. It's a bit strange. So the, pay attention to that, those ones especially. All right, I'm gonna move now. I'm gonna move here because I have a bit of a practice. Let's go. Okay, here I have some online exercises so we can have a look at it. It says, I work in the bank. What would you put in a reported sentence? I work in a bank. He said that he, I work in a bank. What would you put people? I work in a bank. Is present simple? Uh, Sería so yeah, work. Yes, that I worked. Present simple, past simple. I worked in a bank. Now uh, I'm working on. I'm working today. She told us that. Uh, she was working. She was working. So we have present continuous, past continuous, and look, today. That day, también hicieron un backshift de tiempo. Ojo ahí. I've been ill for a couple of weeks. So, I've been ill is the present perfect. Okay. Now, what would you put? He told me that he... Had been ill. Had been ill. Present perfect changes to the um, past perfect. Present perfect. Past perfect, had been ill. Uh, I was at the doctor all morning. She told me that past simple changes to? Past perfect. Past perfect. So which is a past perfect thing? Uh, had been. Mm -hmm. That she had been at the doctor all morning. Uh, I'll lend you some money. I'll lend you the money. Te voy a prestar plata. I lent you the money. He told me that he, we have will back shift. Would lend. That he would lend me the money. I can't do, I can't do it without your help. I can't do it without your help. So we have, you have can't. He couldn't do. Mm-hmm. Okay, fácil, I mean, I can't, I couldn't. The meeting may start earlier. He told us that the meeting, uh, in May and back shift. Might start. Might start. El might es el pasado del May. Entonces, la reunión puede empezar temprano y sería, ellos, él nos dijo que la reunión podría empezar más temprano. I must leave early today. 
I must leave early today. He said that he had to leave early yes. that yes. day. Perfect. And must backshift to have to. Yeah, backshift to have to. Mm -hmm. And then we have you should talk to you should talk to Jim. You should talk to Jim. Should talk. That should talk and se repite and get out. And that is an imperative. Get out. She told me. Uh, to get out. She told me to get out. Yes, she told me to get out. Yeah. It's an imperative and she told me to get out. 100% uh, correct. Okay, people. So, what is the plan? What am I going to give you now? Um, Wait, then I'll come up again. Have you signed the contract? Oh, we have more. Okay, let's we'll see. I need to see Sarah this weekend. No, oh, okay, the same thing. I need to see Sarah this weekend. George said that. Which one? Ah, yeah, yeah. Which one is the best one? Uh, need here is the verb. So present simple, to past simple. La letra C. Mm, he needed to see, yeah. It says this weekend, come here, that weekend. Oh, I'm reading now. She told me that. What about this mm. one? She told me that. Yeah, letter. She told me that, that. She was reading it. Mm. But she was reading it, yes. Uh, now, at that moment. Claro, I can be at that moment. Mm, I haven't seen Barbara since last year. Haven't seen present perfect. Let me see, cambiar a past perfect. Yeah, anything? La letra B. Um, he hadn't seen Barbara since the year before. Since the year before. In this case, uh, last year, the year before. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, have you signed a contract? This is a yes or no question. I think that might help. A yes or no question. Any idea? People? Teacher, que es weather, creo que es. Ah, weather, ah, good question. Weather is a synonym of if. Es lo mismo que if, pero más formal. 
Entonces esa, la uh -huh. letra B. B, uh, let me see. Um, uh, ask me whether I have signed a contract. Yes. Esa es. Entonces, whether es lo mismo que en este caso que if. Ya, yeah, lo mismo. Same, 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 same. Same, 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 same. Okay, and last one. Where did you eat? Again, I don't know, we have here a WH question. Where did you eat? Uh, where did you eat past simple? The question is in past simple. Where I had eaten? Where I had eaten. Where I had eaten. Yes. No puede ir. Where had I eaten. No puede porque eh, cuando se reporta pierde su calidad de pregunta. No, no es pregunta. Es where I had eaten. And that's it. Okay. Uh, if we check it. Uh, can we check? Let's see the next page. No, my goodness. Really. Now, where are you going tomorrow? Ah, sí, pues, espera, espera. Where are you going tomorrow? Sandra asked me, where are you going tomorrow? Any idea? I was going tomorrow. Where I was going the following day? Where I was going the following, uh, where I was going the following, yeah, 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 yeah. May I smoke in the room? May I smoke in the room? This is a yes or no question, of course. If he might smoke in that room? room? If he might, yeah, if he might smoke in the room. Perfecto. I'm living in Australia. Sarah told me, choose two correct options. Oh, we have to choose two. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm living in Australia. She was living in Australia. That she was living in Australia. And this it says two options are correct. So which one would be the other possible option? La. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, hay un tipo reporteado. O sea, ni siquiera alcanza a reporteado. Hace todo la magia que va a reportear, pero finalmente pone todo igual. You know? Ella me dijo que ella, esto se llama indirecto, así que no es report speech como tal, es una variación. Place it here. Uh, this is a command or, yeah, command. Yeah. A request, claro, un request. Porque claro, no está obligando, está sugiriendo. Mm. Anyone? Seria set 
And he was set to sit there. Mm, he said. Generalmente el imperativo mm. o el request o todo eso son como directo. Te lo dicen directamente. Entonces, told me. Yeah. O es como así. Ah, told me to sit here. Mm, es más directo. Can you give me a hand? Can you give me a hand with the boxes? Peter asked me. Can you give me a hand with the boxes? Whether I could give him a hand. Whether I could give him a hand. If I could give him a hand. If I could give him. Peter asked me if I could give him a hand. Ah, give me a hand. I'm a good. If, uh, if could I add a telegram. Okay, and that's it. I suppose. Oh! Uh, he needed to see. She asked me to sit there. Ah, fallamos en el, fallamos en el, 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 sí, en el tema del. Este no está en reference, este como del lugar. En vez de there is that. Eh, ya, ya. Ay, este fallamos los dos. Yeah, okay. No worries, no worries. So what's the plan? I'm going to send you uh, the book pages to work this out. It's one point. But the next week we're going to work in some production, okay? And the production is about, we're going to report, we're going to be reporting a crime, a crime scene, okay? That's the plan. That's the plan. We're going to be reporting a crime scene. And uh, finally, the idea is that at the end, at the end of a unit, which is in the middle of September, we can do like a, a just a recording of your voices reporting the the scene, the crimes, the crime scene. Um, so next classes are not going to be about uh, detail. It's going to be a more production, yeah? working on uh, recording and writing and all those stuff. Okay. Yeah, profe. All righty. Yeah, Yane and all the members who stayed in class, uh, be cool. Gabi, Javi Jr., Sofita, Valita, and Jere. Okay, take good care, and I'll see you again <laughs> tomorrow. Una, Ciao, teacher. A la una y algo. Bye-bye, take care. See you around. Chao, bien. Cuídese. Yeah, bye.